Today we are going to learn about statically determinate trusses, statically indeterminate trusses, and discovering how to calculate the degree of indeterminacy. A truss is considered statically determinate when the static equilibrium equations can be used to find the reactions on the structure. Only statically determinate trusses can be analyzed with the method of joints and method of section. A truss is considered statically indeterminate when the static equilibrium equations are not sufficient to find the reactions on the structure. There are simply too many unknowns. Stability and determinacy of truss depend on the support condition and number of the internal member. To determine whether the truss is determinate or indeterminate, we can use the formula M plus R equals to 2J where M is the total number of member, R is the total number of reaction, and J is the total number of joint. From the formula, trusses could be categorized into three conditions, which are just stiff, under stiff, and over stiff. If M plus R equals to 2J, it means the truss is just stiff or statically determinate. If M plus R is less than 2J, the truss is under stiff to form a mechanism and is unstable, which means the truss will collapse since there will be an insufficient number of bars or reactions to constrain all the joints. If M plus R is more than 2J, the truss is overstiff or statically indeterminate. If the truss is indeterminate, we need to calculate the degree of indeterminacy using the formula D equals to M plus R minus 2J where D is equals to the degree of indeterminacy. Let's look at example 1. Based on a diagram, determine whether the truss is statically determinate or statically indeterminate. From there, we can see total of members is 3 total of reaction equals to 3 total of joint also equals to 3 then we substitute all the values into the formula M plus R equals to 2J and here we could see that M plus R indeed equals to 2J therefore the truss is just stiff or statically determinate now let's look at example 2. Classify the trusses as statically determinate or statically indeterminate. If it is statically indeterminate, report the number of degrees of indeterminacy. From the diagram, we can see the total number of member is 14. The total number of reaction is 4. The total number of joints is 8. Then we substitute all the values into the formula. Here, we could see that M plus R is more than 2J. Therefore, the truss is over stiff, which is statically indeterminate. After that, calculate the degree of indeterminacy using the formula D equals to M plus R minus 2J. From the calculation, we can see that the truss is statically indeterminate to the second degree where the value of D is equal to 2. 